I just saw this randomly on my feed. It's the girl from that one show where she's like, um, you don't know what it's like to weigh this much or whatever the fuck or to be in this body. I don't remember the f with her sister. Yeah. No. Amy Slaton of the 1000 pound sisters has been arrested on charges of drug possession and child endangerment at a zoo. Upon arrival, deputies were reportedly overtaken by suspicious orders coming from the guest vehicles. Um, this is her. I liked those clips that she had. She had some funny moments for sure. This is not so great what she uh, has done. Reality star is facing drug and child endangerment charges after being arrested at the Tennessee Zoo on Monday, September 2nd. Wow. Upon arrival, deputies were immediately overtaken by suspicious odor. Wait, odors? Why is it smelly? Coming from the guest vehicles. What is like the child endangerment? Who's this guy? Uh, Levon, who's in the same vehicle as Salt. I need to learn how to say her name. Slaton is facing. What is this? Ad? What the? That's okay. I'm fine. I'm calm. Levron, who was in the same vehicle as Slaton, is facing the same charges, and both of them have been booked into the Crockett County Jail. Of course. I'm sorry, but if they were going to go to jail, that's exactly where they would go. Crockett County. It sounds very, uh, I don't know how to put it, hillbilly, I guess. The authorities have identified who was bidden. Wait, what? The authorities have not identified who was bidden. I'm missing something. Somebody was bitten or given any further information about any injuries sustained from alleged camel bite. Oh, so someone was bitten by a camel in the zoo. The charges and allegations referenced in the release are merely accusations. While talking about parenthood following their son, Glenn's birthday during a 2023 episode of the hit TLC reality show, Slatoon, I need to learn how to say your fucking name. Slatoon said, my heart is full. Adding, being a mom is what I've always wanted to do since I was five years old. This is the voice I'm giving her. And I've always wanted two kids. Why am I doing this voice? Our family. <laughs> Our fuck. God damn it. Let me lock in. Our fuck. Our family is finally complete. We can put us in a frame and hang it on the wall. Fantastic. I nailed that. Okay, so I guess like her kid, I don't know how old. His name's Glenn, apparently. He got bit by a camel. They were in a car and the car was smelly. That's what I've gotten out of this. And apparently she has a kid and has a husband that I wasn't aware of. See, I don't keep up with her, but I do know that she um, has uh, funny moments on uh, the show. So we got some comments here. Explain it in pop terms. That's actually a good uh, question. Can somebody explain this for me? Because I'm a little lost, as you can see. Okay, that's not helpful at all. None of those comments are helpful. Thank you so much, Twitter, for being toxic. This is going to be good for the show. Can't wait for this to unfold. Okay, that's one way to look at it, I guess. None of these are helpful. Illegal possession of scheduled illegal... Uh, so probably weed and Zans. It could easily be weed. It's not legal everywhere. I don't understand. Sister claiming... Okay, claiming camel bit her. Oh, they're saying that the camel bit her, not her son? See, this is all... I need... Oh, this is a channel... Whatever the fuck. Let's check it out. Is this going to actually tell me about it? Because I'm so lost still. Who is the camel biting? of jail tonight after being arrested at the Tennessee Safari Park at Alamo in Rocket County. Amy Halterman, who stars in 1,000 Pound Sisters, you, was camel. arrested along with a man. They were charged with possession of illegal drugs. Officers also say they found two minors in the couple's vehicle. Pretty wild story here. And as WREG's Mike Sirianni reports, Halterman was arrested after she was allegedly bitten by a camel. Amy Slayton, Halterman, and Brian LeBourne leave Crockett County jail Tuesday hand in hand. Halterman peppered with questions but providing very few answers. That's that's so annoying. Like fucking people suck to put like they're just like leaving this situation and they got like fucking news people outside of them. That's so annoying. That shit sucks. El bozos. Why did you hurt your arm? Explain that. I just got bit. That's all I know. Please, no comments. No, no more comments at this time. What about your fans? What do you want to say to your fans? Thank y'all for y'all support. Halterman, who stars in the TV reality yeah, like show 1,000 Pound Sisters, was visiting Tennessee Safari Park in Alamo Monday. She and LeBourne were arrested after investigators say they found Schedule 1 and Schedule 6 drugs in their car. And now, our concern, you know, I guess our officer's concern, not only the possession of the illegal drugs, the, what we believe to be mushrooms, but you, know, you got two two children that are in the vehicle with you. We don't know who's under the influence of what it, what exactly is going on. Prior to the pair's arrest, Halterman claimed she was bitten on her right arm by one of the park's camels. We intentionally blurred her injury, which park Ew. co Yo! Oh, it is a Nightmare for Christmas tattoo. Look at that. 
right where I was wondering. I was like, is that a Jack Skellington tattoo? So now I know. So thank you for getting bit right there, uh, Amy. That really helps me know that now you have a Jack Skellington tattoo. Blood Connolly says is not consistent with a camel butt. We have to, was, wait, that can't, I was going to say we have to fight Kangaroo Jack, but that's a kangaroo. Let's push this on the top of the arm, and if a camel bit, they would kind of bite down on there, and um, we don't think the uh, uh, customers were in their right mind at that time. According to Claude uh, Conley, this was not the first time Halterman visited Tennessee Safari Park. Uh, the animals here are pretty friendly, but there are some <laughs> This guy is scared as fuck. He's scared of that thing. I mean, I don't blame him. I'd probably be kind of scared of that thing too, but like, fuck. Pick rules. Don't get out of your vehicle. Hi there. Okay, I'm moving on now. Oh my god, he is so scared. Wait, I gotta watch that again. He said, I'm moving on now. Of your vehicle. Hi there. Okay, I'm moving on now. <laughs> and he's like, we got the bay. I can get the fuck out. <laughs> okay, we got some more tea. Walter Bud and Lovorn are out of jail after each posted a $10,000 bond. Both face two counts of child endangerment under the age of eight years old. The two children are in the care of family members and DHS is. So the, they were they were doing some sort of drugs or something. Is that what's going on? I'm lost. It sounds like, yeah, they were tripping at the zoo, which in my mind sounds really chill. The problem is, is probably having your children with you. That's not really it. You know, probably don't do that. Nah, eh, probably don't trip out the zoo, I guess. Honestly, like on paper, it sounds like silly, but eh, probably not a good idea. Because I'm not, wait, I don't have cartilage in between my bones and my knee. They pop out of place and they grind. That's when tough. I'm walking. You need more milk. <laughs> That's osteoporosis, being oh. that. <laughs> I'm nervous about this eight hour trip because me and Tammy tend to fight when we get in. She's got a rose tattoo locations. too. She's tied it up. I'm hoping everybody makes it to Atlanta alive. I can't make no promises. Good for her though. Losing all that weight. I mean, a lot of it. Make it to Atlanta? That's a really hard thing to do. On our way there, you'll have time to stop in between stops. Like you can sit down and take a break. Are you crazy? I'll be sitting the whole time. But I'm sure you have to stop and use the bathroom. No, I'm on garden floor. Uh, <laughs> that would surprise me. Shut up. How often do I do that? I thought about getting diapers for Tammy. So no one was actually bit by a camel? No, somebody, I maybe, allegedly. I don't know. We did decide to eat some country, but... Ah, uh, let's go. We're gonna have one last supper. Yeah. Oh. Girl. Woo. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate when a macaroni noodle you? falls between my tits. It's rough. Take you anywhere. Oh my god, I literally am like getting social anxiety by looking at this video right here. Like this is a nightmare. Uh, too many people. I should have clicked this one. This one says iconic moments. We tried this one. We tried this like one. Sauce, but Peter Const <laughs> oh my god, it's got shitty editing. Oh god. Help me God. Oh. I got you this pogo stick. Oh god, the pogo is broken. <laughs> There's no pogo in that. <laughs> go go. I kind of want to see how far I can make it. Oh god, I want to see it. It works. I want to see how far I can make it into this uh, compilation without clicking off. Nah. All right, and then what are you drinking during the day? Sodies. Sodies. Our mom told us when we were younger, if we ate a sugar. You drink your diet coke afterwards and it'll cancel out the church. Oh my god, this editing is so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, no, I can't. I can't fucking watch this. How the hell? Who? Why? The editing is so bad. Anyways, I hope their kid's fine. Uh, hopefully the camel bite doesn't make them turn in, well, Amy into a camel. Because turning into a camel sounds not so fun. Don't get bit by camels. Don't do drugs at the zoo. Unless if you are a professional zoo drug user.